Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I am doing a big book unhaul. I've had some books that I've been meaning to get rid of for a while now. They were ones that I read and I didn't like, and I knew that I was going to get rid of them. But then there were some that I'd had on my shelves for a while that I felt guilty about getting rid of, but I didn't actually want to read. And then a couple of things happened that sort of inspired me to just clean out all the books I don't have any interest in reading anymore. And number one, I read a book that I hated so much that I wanted to get rid of any books I thought might be unenjoyable. And number two, I watched Sam from Thoughts on Tomes do a giant unhaul of her TBR shelf, and that also sort of inspired me. I have quite a few books to go through, so let's get right into it. And the first couple of books are The Burning Sky and The Perilous Sea by Sherry Thomas. Now these are the first two books in the, is it Elemental? I think it's the Elemental Trilogy, and I read the first one and I thought it was just kind of okay. I, th I really don't feel the need to continue. I don't actually care what happens that much anymore. So if I ever feel the need to continue the series, I'll probably just get it from the library. Next, I have the last two books in the Dark Angel Trilogy, and they are A Gathering of Gargoyles and The Pearl of the Soul of the World by Meredith Ann Pierce. So I recently did a series review and rant <laughs> on the series and needless to say I was not a fan of how it ended. I really enjoyed the first book which is ironically the only one that I don't own and I just don't feel like I'm ever going to want to reread these. Next I have Stolen Magic by Stephanie Burgess and this is the third book in a fantasy trilogy. I just didn't like really any of the characters. I thought the plot wasn't very interesting and there are plenty of middle grade fantasy books that I love and, and new ones that I'm excited to read so I don't really want to keep this one just because I haven't read it. Next I have The Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Now the first book in this series is called The Fixer and that was another just sort of mediocre read and I was only hanging on to this one because I kept telling myself that I would get to it eventually. But I don't really want to. Next we have one that's a little sad for me to be getting rid of, but I think it's time to let go, and that is The Alchemists of Loom and The Dragons of Nova by Elise Kova. Now there is only one more book coming out in the series, but I just don't really want to read it. And again, if I do, I don't want to spend money on it, because these are adult fantasy and they're really expensive books. Based on the way the plot's going, I'm not confident enough I'm going to enjoy it that I want to hold on to these books and buy the last one for like $18 or something. And next I have an entire trilogy and that is the Skyfall series by Shannon Messenger. Let the sky fall, let the storm break, and let the wind rise. I recently read the first two books and they were two stars and 2.5 stars respectively and I just can't make myself read another book that's probably going to be two stars or less. I just don't want to. And the fact that this is a complete trilogy is not a good reason to keep it on my shelves when every time I look at it, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to read that. And the last bunch of books are sort of in no particular order. There's a bunch of reasons why I'm getting rid of them, and I'm just kind of going to pick them out of the box sitting in front of me. But they're all going. So the first book I have is Alias Hook by... Where's the author? By Lisa Jensen. It's a beautiful cover, by the way. <laughs> so this is a... Captain Hook or like Peter Pan retelling I think and it's supposed to be like more of a historical fiction type of thing which I really enjoy historical fiction but I've been reading reviews and I don't know I'm just not confident I'm going to like this anymore. Next I have Traveler by L.E. Delano and I read this one also very recently. It was two stars. I really really didn't like it. There's going to be a sequel that I don't care about and this was a very easy decision to get rid of. This was one of the bunch that I had been planning on unhauling for a long time so no news there. Next I had Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick and this is Oh, look, it's won an award and everything. So this is supposed to be a really dark sort of, I think, folk tale, like two people falling in love across the centuries. I don't really know anymore. I actually did start reading this one like a month ago. I read like three pages and I like hated it. <laughs> like I really couldn't get into it. And even though that's a really short time to make up your mind about a book, I don't feel like this is the kind of story that I would be interested in. Next I have Iona by Alison Goodman and this is the sequel to Eon 
which I already unhauled because I hated it so much. And I heard that this book is a lot better, but look at how massive this is. Every time I look at this on my shelf, I get unhappy because I think about the fact that I just need to force myself to read it. And I just, I don't think it can redeem the first book for me and I don't really want to read it. So, bye. Next, I have Somewhere in France by Jennifer Robson. I got this at Costco because it was really cheap and it was historical fiction and it looked like I would like it. And I foolishly did not look up any reviews or even like an extensive summary. And I think I would hate this book. Like the love story just sounds awful. So getting rid of that. Next I have Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins and this is just an extra copy of a book I have. I It's not because I didn't like the series. I've only read the first book and I enjoyed it. So that one is just because I don't need two copies. Then I have Rebel Queen by Michelle Moran and this one was a little harder to get rid of because I did enjoy it and I tend to like I tend to like a good percentage of Michelle Moran's historical fiction, but this is just one of those books that you're glad you read, but you know you're never going to want to reread. Next, I have The River of No Return by B. Ridgeway. Another beautiful cover that is not a good enough reason to hang on to it. And this, this was like a totally my fault thing because I was under a misapprehension about what this book was about. It's actually a historical fiction about like two people who are separated by time or something but they fall in love again and I don't know it just doesn't sound like something I would enjoy anymore. I read a few pages and I didn't hate it but I didn't feel any need to continue with it so this is another one that I'm going to be moving on from. Next I have Lost Voices by Sarah Porter and this is the first book in a trilogy and it's about mermaids. I read the first book a couple months ago. There were some things I loved and some things I hated, and I just don't think that that justifies holding on to it. Next, I have Twilight of Avalon by Anna Elliott. This is a total cover buy um, because it just looked so beautiful, and it was, again, sort of historical, and it was a novel about Tristan and Isolde, which is a story that I am kind of interested in, but this is another one where I just don't think I'm going to like it anymore. I think I read a little bit of this one and I didn't really like the characters very much and I just don't want to force myself to read more than 400 pages of a book I know is mediocre for me. Next I have The Star-Touched Queen by Rashani Chakshi. So I'm keeping A Crown of Wishes which is the companion sequel because I loved that one. I enjoyed it a lot more than this one but this I just it was just okay. I think I gave in to the hype a little bit about this book. It was three stars for me and I just don't need to keep it. And this next book is the other major reason that I'm doing this unhaul and that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is the one star book that inspired me to, to clear out my shelves at, in the hopes that I would not read another one star book for a very long time. I think it's unrealistic that I'm never going to read another one star but like this is a very beloved book. I hated it. Somebody I'm sure is going to love it. And finally, the last book in my big unhaul is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandhya Manan. And this is another beloved book around here on booktube and again I just thought it was okay. I do plan to read Sandhya Manan's other books because I am glad I read this one. I enjoyed like parts of it but I definitely don't want to reread it. And there's really no point in keeping books on your shelf that you know you're never going to pick up again. You know? Like if they're not favorites or ones that you really want to read, they really shouldn't be there. So I'm getting rid of it. Okay everybody, so those are all of the books that I am currently unhauling. This doesn't mean I'm going to stop hauling books or stop buying books or that I want to get my TBR to zero or anything like that. It just means that, like other people, I want to look at my shelf and be genuinely excited about every book on there that I haven't read. And I want to only hang on to books that I really enjoyed and would want to read again. I'll be sure to link Sam's video down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I find unhauls really cathartic <laughs> and you know enjoyable to watch because it sort of can inspire you to get rid of some things that realistically you know you're not gonna want to keep around and you should be excited about what you're going to read and not feel like you're assigning it to yourself. Okay so that is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you soon with another one, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!